Peter Barb here from Arbrox Manufacturing. In our previous uh, Shop Talk series, we uh, showed you how to put together your floating surface aerator. Next, we're going to show you how to install a optional intake screen. These are always a good idea, just to prevent, you know, floating garbage, debris, pond leaves, uh, you know, plant matter from, you know, getting in and fouling up the propeller area. So what you have is you have four pieces here that are going to get bolted together. There's three spots, one, two, three on each side that you're going to put some quarter twenty stainless steel bolts in, fasten all four sections together and then, then it gets bolted to the float. So I'm just going to pre-start these bolts into the holes. So essentially, you're going to have two sections get joined together like that and then they're going to get all bolted together in all four corners. Then you just put a nut on each one. I'm just going to put two in per spot right now just to kind of get everything uh, together and then when we do the final bit we'll put the third bolt in each location as well. So we're just going to leave this, um, this uh, one end loose and then um, get this last side just started. We're not going to, we're going to leave the one side open and you'll see why, you'll see why in just a minute why we're going to leave that open. It's just so we can get it around your, uh, the pump motor assembly. So you're going to see in here, there's a little rounded opening in here. I don't know if you can see that in the camera there. This little spot right in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the wires through that spot, just wrap it around here. Just bend this down over. And then the wire just comes out through that one spot. Just like so. Next step is um, we're, we're going to fasten all this stuff down tight later but next step is we're going to take these quarter inch eye bolts and we're going to put a washer on there and grab another washer and nut and in the bottom four corners you're just going to line up the holes in the intake screen with the float. Just put that eye bolt through there and that's for fastening your mooring rope. I know in the previous video we showed how the um, the mooring ropes got put through the holes in the float, but now that's being used for a mounting point for this intake screen. So now we have the, uh, the eye bolt for, uh, for fastening the uh, mooring ropes too. So we're going to do the same on the opposite side 
we're going to put uh, one in and uh, that's just kind of over out of the camera view over here but it's just in behind here so we'll do the same thing over there and then in the other two corners we're just going to take a standard quarter 20 by two inch bolt and we're going to um, fasten the other two corners down and basically one right here and then exactly 180 degrees opposite that one you're going to put the other one now through the miracle of modern video editing, we have all the bolts fastened, tightened down. And um, the next step, I just want to show you where, through to this eye bolt, that's where we're going to fasten the mooring rope. Again, just tie it a couple times. Make sure those knots are good and tight. And that's going to be your mooring point now versus tying it to the float like you did in previous times. And then essentially uh, everything's upside down now, so you're just going to rotate that over. Um, and it's ready to drop into your pond and anchor with your mooring ropes, run your power cable back to shore, and we're going to show you a quick little picture in a second here, uh, exactly how that looks once it's all installed. So thanks for having, uh, having us today.